Welcome back to the Scott Ballard Show on the Warrior Sports <clears throat> Network. Coach, back at home finally, first time in 2015, starting a four-game homestand. It'll be, it'll be beginning uh, Friday night as you welcome Sioux Falls into town, and then Saturday night against Southwest Minnesota State. Two teams you've played before uh, already this year, uh, lost to Sioux Falls and beat Southwest on the road. Uh, so what do you have to do this time around to get a 2-0 weekend? Well, if we uh, can get ahead and stay ahead, that, that would certainly help. <laughs> but, you know, Sioux Falls has got an excellent team, and they, they beat us handily at their place the first meeting and surprised us with uh, uh, starting out in some zone defense, which we didn't anticipate. And, and um, th they jumped on us early. Our, our post defense was not good that night. Our help defense was not good that night. Uh, we lost patience uh, offensively in the half court and took some quick shots. And, and they're a really good transition team. Um, uh, they've really improved their rebounding, uh, but they, they can score at all five spots, and they've got good depth and speed. So, you know, they're, I think they're 10-2 and two right now. Um, they're a game ahead of us, so uh, that, that would be uh, a tremendous uh, win or mm -hmm. uh, challenge for us playing them again. Uh, we really need it mm -hmm. uh, for tiebreaker scenarios later on when it's all said and done. Uh, Southwest is a team that uh, you can't take lightly. I mean, um, they just beat Augustana. Um, th they've had some close games that they lost. Uh, they, they were up one on uh, Wayne State with seven minutes to go in the game uh, before they lost that one. But uh, they're, they're a young team that uh, now they have uh, their most experienced and, and probably best post player uh, who also plays volleyball. Didn't play with them in the first meeting because uh, she was with the volleyball team at Nationals. Uh, so that, that gives them, you know, a quality player that uh, didn't participate the first meeting. But, um, you know, we, we've got to get off to a good start and uh, defend and take care of the ball and rebound. Um, you know, they, I think we surprised them in the first meeting with uh, how much uh, we got the ball in the lane with dribble drives and post play. As a matter of fact, we scored 50 points in the paint that night and only attempted nine threes the entire game. But uh, th they'll, be a, they'll be a different and better team mm -hmm. the second time around. So, um, you know, you just got to take it one game at a time and, and try to, you know, take advantage of matchups and, and just make sure you don't beat yourself, you know, right. with uh, silly turnovers and missing easy, easy lucks. And well, I, I want to see our team be uh, much better on the boards uh, mm -hmm. th this weekend. Um, that really hurt us uh, last weekend on the road. Mm -hmm. You talked about depth earlier. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, from from my point of view, I think that's one of the things that's gotten a lot better from last mm -hmm. year. I mean, part of his injuries, part of yeah. it's just players getting better. Yeah. But I know last weekend, Kelly Hackman had a really nice nice weekend, yeah. scoring a career high 16 points yeah. on Friday and then 10 points the next night. How has she and then some of the other players, seven, eight, nine off the bench, really helped your yeah. team this year? And going forward, how important will that be to continue? Well, you know, it, it, it varies from game to game and night to night, but it's nice to know that you got people down there that you can, um, you know, quickly go to. And different people off the bench have given us sparks. You know, you mentioned Callie Hackman uh, at Northern uh, with 16 points. Has really improved her mm -hmm. perimeter game. Uh, she's always been a really good slasher, but she's also developing her mid-range game. And, um, you know, Callie's got a tremendous uh, upside to her career. Uh, she's improved her defense. Uh, Emily Passant is another, you know, lockdown defender that's very athletic, uh, gives us quality minutes. Um, uh, uh, Jenny Tuttle, uh, coming off the ACL injury a year ago, um, you know, she's just going to get stronger and faster and better as her strength improves, uh, you know, the rest of this uh, season. Uh, give us a quality backup point guard. Um, you know, Allison Hawking is waiting her turn, but uh, she's really improved her game. You know, she, she could really be effective for us uh, against teams that want to play zone, which we know we got some teams coming up that like to do that. Uh, but we're, we're really kind of, you know, we didn't have Emily Worth last mm -hmm. weekend. She was coming off of a sprained ankle. Uh, we need to get her back healthy. Uh, she gives us a, a different look at the four spot because she's a really good perimeter shooter and can spread the defense out. But, um, you know, we're waiting for her and Hannah McGlone and um, Jenny Whelan. We, we need those three young ladies. We need somebody in, in those three to step up and be a, a consistent player for mm -hmm. us at both ends of the floor that would really complement the rest of our, our team. But, uh, yeah, we do have a lot of depth, and uh, sometimes it's a challenge for the coaching <laughs> staff to 
to uh, you know go as deep as as we're capable of and, and put people in positions to have success. But uh, that that's a nice problem to yeah, have. Good challenge to have, it is. especially when you had last year where it, it seemed like everyone got hurt. So. Yeah, we were running out of we were yeah. running out of people right. last year. Yep. Well, it should be a good weekend back inside Hope McCown so. Gymnasium this weekend. Uh, beginning Friday night as the Warriors take on the University of Sioux Falls at 6 p.m. and then come right back and face Southwest Minnesota State at 4 p.m. inside McCown J Gymnasium. And then we'll be back here right again next week to talk more about the Warriors right here on the Scott Ballard Show on the Warriors Sports Network.